I yeah. hope she just keeps going. Yeah, well, uh, we we're talking about uh, breaking, breaking down barriers and things. That's what Black History Month has yeah. really been all about. And today we have the story of the first black band director at Savannah High School. Oh, Michaela Romero gives us a look at how he overcame racial adversity to leave a lasting mark on the city through music and teaching. I'm James E. Thompson. I'm the first black band director here at Savannah High School when it was Savannah High School. Walking through Savannah Arts Academy's halls, the building that used to be home to Savannah High is like music to James Thompson's ears. Oh man, this is, this is just great. Man, you, you, you died and going to heaven. You haven't died, but you're in heaven. <laughs> There has been a lot of change since he first stepped foot here, but the memories flood through his mind. We never had a practice room. All we had was a one, one room. It takes him back to when he was a young adult starting his career. I was 22 when I got my first job. I guess I was, that would make me 24 when I came to Savannah High School. So I was young, very, it was a very funny feeling because I had always gone to segregated school and here was the first time that I was actually teaching in an integrated situation. It was an exciting and whole new world that came with some challenges. There were still parents boycotting across the street after school when you leave the school. There were parents with signs up. Uh, there was still boycotting that didn't want to integrate the school system. Got ready to get in my car. My car, all four tires were flat, completely had been stuck with a with a ice pick. And they weren't stuck under the bottom, they were stuck on the side, so it couldn't be repaired. But he says the good memories outweighed the bad by a landslide. It, it was kind of nerve wracking at first, but but I find, like I said, I, I found out that I could really do the job and uh, it didn't take long for the gain respect of, of the students. Students like Reginald Mitchell say Thompson had such a lasting impact on his life that he even followed in his footsteps and is now the band director at today's Savannah High. So one of my biggest fondest memories of him was him fussing at me one day in practice. That's because I was misbehaving. And so he looked at me, he said, Mitchell, Mitchell. He said, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm like learning my music. He said, no, we're not, you're playing around. And ever since that day, when Mr. Thompson raised his voice, and every student knows when he raised his voice, and he stopped wiping that forehead, that's it. Um, a lot of us looked up to Mr. Thompson, and like I said, by the way I dress and so forth, um, he taught us as educators or people in any profession, we have to look the part. So because of him wearing his suit, shirt, and ties, is one reason why I wear my suits, shirt, and ties to work each and every day. Along with dressing their best, Mr. Thompson wanted his students to live their best. I was able to get the kids out of Savannah. Uh, I, could, I remember the first time we went on an overnight trip to, to Six Flags or, or an overnight trip to Disney World. Many kids, that was their first time leaving Chatham County. That was their first time spending the night with other kids. Thompson was known for taking everything he did to the next level. He says he got the band to play high-level music and they never dropped the standard. The, the students responded well, um, and, and I think we just kept a quality band. And even though demographics has changed tremendously by then, we had gone from a band that had four blacks to a band that you had to scrape to find four whites. And his legacy continues. I'll say first thing, it's some big shoes to fill. And a lot of things that he instilled in me as far as leadership, discipline, respect, being a productive citizen in life and so forth, it's things that I teach my kids. And those are things that Mr. Thompson instilled in us and so forth, and that's what I instilled in my kids to this day. According to Mr. Thompson, all good memories come with good music. <laughs> These are high school band kids now. It's not an orchestra, that's a band. In Savannah, Michaela Romero, WTOC.